What's going on everybody? Mitch here, Merce Farm Equipment. Today we're gonna take a look at the Massey Ferguson VEN series planter. So VE is vacuum electric, N is for narrow row spacing. This one is 24 rows, 20 inches, uh, spacing on a 40 foot bar. So let's check it out. All decked out with precision. All right, there it is, guys. The Massey Ferguson VEN in is a narrow planter. So the first thing you're going to notice is, is we start here with the V-Set precision planting meters. So the V-Set 2 is actually what it is here. Um, the, the heart and soul of this planter is that meter and then the V-Drive. That V-Drive, that electric drive, is going to help on any contours. As you go around a contour, uh, you're going to keep that spacing even. Uh, and you're not going to have a bunch of seeds down in the narrow in the, in the, in the corner and you're not going to have a b bunch of wide spacing out on the outside. But it keeps everything nice and spaced evenly. So that V-Drive um, is really nice for, for those contours. Uh, it's nice everywhere but right there is, the, is where it really shines. The secondary part of this or the next part of this is you've got the Delta Downforce cylinders. So the delta downforce is your hydraulic downforce. That's gonna react five times per second. It's gonna take a reading five times and react five times per second so that you can make sure that you're getting that crop put into the ground at the right depth all the time. So if you go across a, a grain cart path, you know, you've got that 30 inch tire on that grain cart, you go across that path and you're going to need to all of a sudden put the next few seeds you're going to need extra downforce there but you're only going to need it on maybe two or three of the rows you're not going to need it on every single row so just that one or two rows is going to react give that extra downforce to make sure that that seed gets put in at the right depth so that it continuously has the same it's, it's, it's uniform across the board you want that continuous that that uniform emergence Delta downforce by far will put more money in a farmer's pocket and give more return than any other product I believe out there. I'm a firm believer in this, especially here in southeast Nebraska where we have different soil types. I mean, we could be in one 80 acre field and have multiple soil types. Um, we can be on top of the hill versus the bottom of the hill. We could be in some sand, some, some clay loam, some, you know, across the board we've got all the different soil types. That by far is what's going to help make sure that the the, the, the seed gets put in at the right depth in the right spot every single time. Really like that combo with the precision planting meter and the delta downforce. Two really good things right there. Um, really the, the brains then, if, if the meter is the heart, the brains are the SRMs. So each row has an SRM. Um, so this is a row module. This row module controls everything. So that's the electric portion of that that is on every single row you've got uh, an SRM so that's the brains the meters the heart this is what's gonna put money this is the money maker right there that's gonna put money in your pocket that Delta downforce is so um, on top of that on this planner in particular we have the clean sweep so you can come up here and you can see these so we've got Yetter floaters um, row cleaners here but then we've got the clean sweep cylinder so with the clean sweep cylinders on those that is an air cylinder so we've got an air compressor mounted right over there on the wing so that compressor is allowing us to to change the air pressure within this cylinder we can turn it all the way down and suck these cylinders clear up which was going to pick this uh, row cleaner up so if you get to a point that it's a little bit wet maybe you shouldn't be planting but if it is a little bit wet and you're still planting you can suck these row cleaners up where you're not going to have those even touching the ground at all or if for some reason like on this for instance this 20 inch planter if you've got a lot of crop residue out there from last year and it starts to ball up you can actually pick these up move forward leave that ball of trash right there and then drop them right back down right from the cab of the tractor so that's really nice the the clean sweep the the main part of the clean sweep though um, with the with the air cylinders is that you can adjust the pressure that you're putting down if you're not getting a clean furrow or you're not moving the trash you can add a little more air pressure 
push this down a little bit more and that allows you to have that pressure to push that trash out of the way. Or if you start to dig, if you get over into like a more sandy soil and you start to dig, you can lessen the air pressure, pick these up a little bit and uh, you're not gonna dig or, or, or you know, doze as much there with these. So really nice, um, really not that expensive. Clean sweep um, and clean sweep can be put on any planter with or without the SRMs. So this is an independent system and you know like I say it's a pretty affordable system so any planter that has floating row cleaners can have clean sweep with or without the, the meters, the delta downforce, all that. This is an independent system. Um, the second part I will say of, of clean sweep is Precision has a product out now called Reveal. Reveal actually takes this whole row cleaner off the row unit. Instead of having it mounted there, it would be mounted up here to the bar. And we have seen some studies. We did some studies, if you go back to our 2021 crop tour, we did see some studies that uh, the, the downforce here on the row cleaners is fighting the delta downforce. If you think about it, you're putting more pressure down here on front on this row unit then it's taking that much more hydraulic pressure to put that row unit down on the ground if you just got this completely off of the row unit and mounted it up here to the bar then that delta downforce cylinder doesn't have to work as hard because you're not fighting each other um, so it's a little it's a little bit uh, of, of a new system I have not personally been around to reveal at this point but knowing the studies that we've done with clean sweep pinning row cleaners up, pinning row cleaners down, messing with clean sweep. Um, I, I can see the advantage of Reveal. I mean, hand over fist. And so again, Reveal is a product that you can mount on the toolbar. You don't need the SRM. So clean sweep or Reveal um, to move that trash. Um, take a look at that, guys. So um, on top of that, then we do have the spoked gauge wheels um, on this planter. That's a, a personal preference, spoked or solid. This guy uh, wanted the spoked. And then we have the Yetter Twister closing wheels on this particular planner. Um, so this is a little bit different. Everybody's got all the different ideas that they want for closing systems. I personally still like the Furrow Force. We did do some studies with Furrow Force. Furrow Force is gonna de destroy that sidewall and put everything back to make it look like you know that the that the furrow was never created um, but I understand furrow force um, is a little bit more expensive than this um, also furrow force in the contours uh, we have some questions there but I think that furrow force is by far the best closing system purely for a closing system matter you know when it's closing when it's closing the trench it does the best job no doubt um, another precision planning product here is we have the smart firmer so smart firmer you can see right down here on the side of this it's got a little eye little lasers on the side there so that is going to take a reading of moisture organic matter and temperature all in the furrow itself so that's gonna ride right down in that furrow and it's gonna tell us the moisture level if it if it's not if we're not getting down to the moisture level we can come right back here and change that let's go down a half inch or a quarter inch let's drop that seed plant it a little bit deeper try to get that it down into that moisture I think that could save guys or not save guys um, create extra yield right there by just planting a quarter inch deeper could we gain you know a couple bushels per acre absolutely I do believe that and so smart firmer a very affordable product once you already have all the I mean this you do need it to plug into the SRM so you have to have the SRM on the row already but once you have that SRM smart firmer is a relatively um, cheap and affordable option there so put that on there then we can go you know we can just be in control of that temperature I always joke with guys I don't know that you're gonna stop planning because it's too cold out you guys all know that once the neighbor starts going, we got to go. There's no, the, it, I don't care if it's cold or not, the neighbor's planting, we got to plant. But also, you know, the first part of August, when you're looking at that field and you're trying to figure out what's happening, maybe you can remember back to say, well, was it a little cool when we were planting? So it just gives you that information that makes you a, a more educated and better producer um, in the future. So temperatures there um, and then organic matter. So organic matter in the trench. 
So if you're getting a lot of organic matter, therefore we're not pushing it out of the way, we're not cleaning it, we're pinning it into the, into the furrow with the opener disc. Maybe we need to add a little more pressure to our clean sweep to push more of the trash out of the way. Therefore, once that trash is out of the way, then we won't have near as much organic matter down in the furrow. So that's a nice reading. All of this is set up with your 2020 precision monitor. So this planner, um, these Massey Ferguson planners, the VE series, all come with the Gen 3 monitors. Um, right now, 2022, it's a little difficult to get those, but they do come with the Gen 3 monitors, um, you know, moving forward. So there's a better picture of the row unit itself. The row unit itself, so this, you'll, you'll, if you're know, if you're familiar with the precision side, this is what they call the precision planning, the PP ready row unit. So the, the precision planning ready row unit, you can buy this from precision and mount it on any bar. But this is actually a white designed row unit. So white planners design this. White planners have changed to Massey Ferguson as Agco streamlines um, their brands to Massey and Fent. Uh, getting rid of the, the, you know, the white line, the challenger line, things of that sort, just going to Massey and Fent. The white went away. This is now Massey, but this is a white design. So you've got the parallel linkage arms here. We are out on the highway. I apologize for the background noise. But then this piece here, this piece here, this is all cast. The depth is all cast right here. So as you adjust that, there's your depth gauge. Nice, easy to, uh, to adjust the depth as well. And then even this piece back here is cast. So those are all cast. You will also see there's no maintenance on this row unit. There's no grease cirques, there's no bushings. You know, that it, it's a nice, easy row unit to, to maintain. Um, we come around here. Here is your uh, down sensor, down pressure sensor. So that's what's taking the reading. There's a way pin right there to see how much pressure is getting put on by that delta down force. So the other question is, is, is if for some reason this sensor stops working, then what the uh, planter does is takes the rows next to it. So if, if this one's putting on, if this one stops working, this one's putting 200, this one's putting 300, then this one's gonna put 250. It's gonna average the two next to it and put that pressure right there to that one. Come across here, you can see this planner, this 24 row, 20 inch planner from Massey Ferguson. All precision planning. Agco owns precision planning. So if you're gonna go buy a planner, you're gonna go buy, say, a green planner, and then you're gonna take all the stuff off and put all the precision planning stuff on it. You're gonna buy the planner, then you're gonna buy all the precision stuff separate. You're gonna spend way more money. If you come to the Agco dealership, hopefully Merce Farm Equipment, if you're in our area here in Southeast Nebraska, Northwest Missouri, Northeast Kansas, come talk to us, because we're gonna get you set up with a planner that we're gonna sell you a Massey Ferguson bar that used to be the white bar, whatever you want to call it, but it's the whole precision row unit. This is all precision. Precision clean sweep, precision meter, precision drive motor, precision delta downforce. It's all precision planning products, essentially factory installed. You know, we install some of it, but it's all coming from us. You're not buying stuff that you're taking off and then having to sell on Big Iron or something like that. You're actually buying it all with the planner itself, and in the long run, saving yourself a lot of money. The precision planning products, I think, will save you money as well. And then, um, you know, of course, get you better yields. So that is the uh, Massey Ferguson VE N24. So VE is vacuum electric, N is narrow row units, 24 is 24 rows at 20 inch spacing on this 40 foot bar. Check out the uh, 2021 MERS Crop Tour for a bunch of studies we've done. Check out agronomyworks.com. There's some podcasts on there that talk to a number of dealers and we're one of the dealers that, that contribute to that, but there's a bunch of dealers on there. There's engineers on there. There's a uh, former secretary of ag, Sonny Perdue was interviewed on there. 
some really good information there on that agronomyworks.com, um, including that podcast. So, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you checking out this planner. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get you one of these in your farming operation soon.